Today, we're gonna to go over five production tips that can make you sound like a pro. Let's get into it. Production tip number one is your production needs movement. And one of the ways that we can create movement is by creating a loop that isn't busy, but a loop that kind of sits in the background and helps the song move along. Another way that we can create movement in a gospel song is by using arpeggiators or arps. Here is the perfect example of what I'm talking about right here. So this song is already moving along pretty well, but the loop in the arps will only enhance what's already here. So check this out. So the next time your production is feeling a little stale and you feel like it needs a little bit more excitement, consider beefing up that loop and maybe adding a arpeggiator in there to help out the production. All right, tip number two, be intentional with the song you are producing or working on. The best songs are made on purpose with intention and with a goal in mind. I believe gospel music today is great. There's a lot of amazing producers that is making gospel music. Shout out to all of those guys, but I believe some of the best gospel music was made in the 90s, the early 2000s. And if you want to really learn the secret sauce and learn the what it means to make great gospel music, go back and listen to that stuff. Dissect it and figure out things that you can take from those productions and put it into your productions. So tip number two, be intentional. Um, have a purpose, have a goal for your arrangement and have fun with it. That leads us straight into tip number three, sound selection and textures matter. Just because Power Grand sounded good on the last song that you worked on doesn't mean that that specific piano sound is gonna sound good on the next production that you are working on. So you have to find specific sounds that will enhance the arrangement that you are working on and find cool textures as well and another pro tip that you can use that I'll show you right here is always consider adding effects leading into a chorus or a verse. Um, we kind of consider this like sweeps. Sweeps are often in the intro as well, but at transitional points, consider adding sweeps or something big that leads into that next chorus or that verse. So check this out. So this is all verse one right here. We're about to go to that chorus. Check this out. So that was very subtle, but I'll solo it so you can hear what it sounds like. So this is the transitional point that I'm talking about. And this is something that you can use. So what is that? So I'm using a cymbal from Orchestral Kit in Logic, and then we have a chime in here. Then I'm using a sound from my Juno X, and this is what it sounds like all together. So what I'm currently working on is a Logic Pro X template for producers and musicians. So when you're creating music, and you're looking for a sweep or a specific orc hit, you can just take it from the pack and put it into your production. And it's gonna make production easier and faster. If you are interested in that when it drops, comment down below and I'll send you that link and make sure you have it when it does come out. All right, let's get into tip number four. Less is more. Don't over arrange or overproduce your track. This is kind of similar to tip number two that we talked about when we said be intentional with the music that you are working on. Find a way to complement the lyrics and what's being sung. Production and music should work together. The music should not be all the way up here and the lyrics are down here. And I'm talking about intensity when I say that. Everything should be working together and it should be the perfect marriage. Now the flip side to that is there is a way to arrange and produce gospel music that is big and exciting 
and has you know a bunch of hits and stuff in there as well but there's a specific formula to that in making that type of music and i would say if you're just starting out and you're trying to find your way with making gospel music you're going to want to follow tip number four and that is do not overarrange your track production is not about pulling out all of your favorite lines and putting it into one song find one or two melody lines that work for the specific song that you are working on and stick to those melody lines don't do too much that leads us straight into tip number five build a band that complements the arrangement that you have produced or worked on no you do not have to have the greatest musicians in the world on your production for it to sound good you want to find session musicians that understand the way that you think and produce music and you want to have them come in and complement the arrangement that you have worked on. This is not their time to get out, you know, their favorite chops or their favorite chords. It's not about them. It's about how can we serve this song? That is five gospel production tricks that can make you sound like a pro. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Like this video also and consider signing up for my email list. When you sign up for my email list, you will get a free product. That free product is worship cues. You can use these worship cues in your productions. And if you want to get access to some of the sounds that I use on a lot of my productions, you can click the link below and go directly to my website and go shop. Um, there's a lot of good content on there as well. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate all of you guys. We're out.